This video is about the ratios between the perimeters and areas of similar figures. By the end of this video, you should be able to find the ratio of the perimeters and the ratio of the areas of similar figures when you are given the scale factor. You should be able to find the area of one figure when you are given the scale factor and the area of the other figure. You should also be able to find the scale factor when you are given the areas of two similar figures. Let's start by looking at two similar pictures. And I say similar because their dimensions are proportional. 5 is twice as long as 2.5. And 7 is twice as long as 3.5. So their dimensions are proportional. So the first question we can ask is, what is the scale factor? And the scale factor is a 2 to 1 ratio. And I will leave it as a ratio. The second question is, what is the ratio of the perimeters? Well, instead of assuming it's 2 to 1, I'm going to calculate it. This length is 5, and this length is 7. So the perimeter of the left one is 5 plus 7 plus 5 plus 7, which adds up to be 24. The right picture is also 2.5 and 3.5. So the perimeter is 2.5 plus 3.5 plus 2.5 plus 3.5 which adds up to be 12. Okay, So the ratio is 24 to 12, which simplifies to be 2 to 1, the exact same thing as the scale factor. Okay, That may or may not surprise you. Number three, what is the ratio of the areas? Now again, instead of assuming it's going to be 1 to 2, I'm going to calculate it. Okay, The left picture uh, has an area of 5 times 7, or 35, 35 um, square inches. The right picture has a, an area of um, 2.5 times 3.5, which is 8.75 square inches. Okay, so the ratio between the areas is 35 to 8.75, which if you divide 35 divided by 8.75, you get the ratio of 4 to 1, not 2 to 1. Okay. Now you may wonder, why is it different? Why is it different for areas than it is for perimeters and for the scale factor? Okay. Now before I answer that, I want to first show you one reason why um, it's different. I can take this picture and kind of put it on top of the other picture and count how many fill up the area. And it happens to be four. Okay, So why is it different? The reason that it's different for perimeters than it is for area is because perimeter is a one dimension measurement. Okay, Just like the scale factor. I'm measuring distance. Um, you know, How long is it around the outside of a shape? That's a one dimensional measurement. Area is a two-dimensional measurement. Okay, So I have a stretching happening in the horizontal dimension and the vertical dimension. Okay, So you'll notice that it's, it's been stretched horizontally twice and vertically twice, which means in total it's 2 times 2, or it's been squared. Okay, If I take 1 to 2, this ratio 1 to 2, sorry, 2 to 1, 2 to 1, I square both of them, I get the ratio 4 to 1, which is exactly what I got for the ratio between the areas. Okay, So what I'm trying to get at is that if the scale factor of two similar figures is A to B, then the ratio of the perimeters, a one-dimensional measurement, will be also A over B. The ratio of their areas, which is a two-dimensional measurement, will be a squared over b squared. So let's use that fact. The trapezoids at the at above are similar. Okay, the ratio of the lengths of the corresponding sides is six to nine. We can see that, or simplified two to three. 
what is the ratio of their perimeters? Well, we just learned that it's the same exact thing as the um, scale factor. So it's also 2 to 3. What is the ratio of their areas? Well, I, we just learned that it's the scale factor squared. So 2 squared over 3 squared is equal to 4 to 9. The area of the smaller regular pentagon is about 27.5 square centimeters. What is the best, best approximation for the area of the larger regular pentagon? Okay. Now I'm given 4 and 10, and that gives me a scale factor. Okay. The scale factor is 4 to 10, which simplifies to be 2 to 5. Okay. Now this will be easier for me to work. Well, before I um, go there, let me now find the ratio between the areas. Is the ratio, the scale factor, squared? So it is 2 squared to 5 squared, which is 4 to 25. Okay, so the ratio between the areas is 4 to 25. Now, this is a ratio. And I have one of them, okay? Specifically, this is the smaller one, okay? So I can set up a proportion, because proportions are when you set ratios equal to each other and solve. So 4 to 25 is equal to, now the one I have is the smaller one, so it goes on top, it matches with this smaller number, 27.5 over x, and I cross multiply. 25 times 27.5, is 687.5 is equal to 4x and divide both sides by 4 and x is equal to 171.875 um, square centimeters. Okay, the next question. If the area of the smaller triangle is about 90, sorry, 39 square feet, what is the area of the larger triangle to the nearest tenth? Okay, again, I'm given a scale factor, 12 to 9. 12 to 9 now first simplifies to be 4 to 3. And the ratio of the areas is that scale factor squared. Okay, now I'm given one of them. The one I'm given is the smaller one. And so I'll use the, the, um, this ratio and this number to write a proportion. 16 to 9 equals, and I'm given the smaller one, so it matches with this smaller number, 39 to x, and I cross multiply. 9 times x is 9x. 16 times 39 is 624 divided by 9 divided by 9 and x is equal to 69.3 um, square feet. The triangles at right are similar. What is the scale factor? What is the ratio of their perimeters? Okay, this time I'm given the ratio between the areas. So I need to kind of work backwards from what I did previously, okay? The ratio between the areas is 50 to 98. Now I'm first going to simplify um, this ratio, and it's 25 to 49, okay? Now keep in mind that this is the ratio between the areas, okay, which is the scale factor squared. So this is the same as a squared to b squared. Now if I have a squared to b squared, how do I find A to B? Well, I have to take the square root of both of them, don't I? So I take the square root of 25 and the square root of 49, and it turns out to be 5 to 7. And that is the ratio, of, sorry, that's the scale factor, 5 to 7, or 5 to 7 as a fraction. And it's also the ratio of their perimeters, 5 to 7, or 5 to 7. In this video, we discussed the ratios of perimeters and areas of similar figures. Thanks for watching.